Hello and welcome to the Keith Wickham Show. And I am your host Keith Wickham. This is our first episode and we have a lot to cover. Including our special guest stars, we will get to more about that in a minute. We have bloopers who doesn't like bloopers from Soul Door Dark Realm. And Soul Door Fallout. We will have lots to talk about as we discuss our two awesome series. I am also doing a question and answer towards the end. To answer some of your most common questions you are see in the Beast Productions we plan to have all kinds of guest stars here from Sir Topham Hat to BT Boomer, from Thomas to D Soul Tent to Charlie Sand and so many others. The best part about this is even you can just star. Check Percy and the Beast Productions community page or the end of this episode for the how you can apply. I would also like to give a special thanks to Timoth Thunderbolt for creating Soul Door Fallout and for making such an epic series. Without him giving us all the inspiration we would not have the awesome solar content we have today. And Sir Timoth Thunderbolt if you are watching I would like to extend an invitation for you to guest star on my show. And now a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to the show. As you know a star in Soda Dark Realm, it's hard work making this great series for you guys. Episode 4 will be put on hold, which is sad but there is a reason Soda followed, but I will get to that in a minute. We are going to give Evil Tom as a backstory. This episode will answer a lot of your questions, including how Thomas new Percy betrayed the Empire. We also plan to show you more of what Soda looks like in the Dark Realm. The reason Percy and the Beast Productions are putting Soda Dark Realm on hold is because Soda Fallout Episode 12 was such a great success that they decided to give you guys another episode of Soda Follow. Before they go back to Soda Dark Realm, I think a lot of you will enjoy that. Episode 13 is in very early stages and will release this spring, probably late April with a pinch of luck. Speaking of Soul Door Fallout, there will be a special coming out soon. Soul Door Fallout will be the complete story, which is just episode 11 and 12 together, remastered with bug fixes, upgraded font and seamless episode matching, which will premiere late February or early March. I just want to say I am happy and grateful that Percy and the Beast Productions gave me my own show, and I promise more episodes are coming. Here is our special ghost star, without further ado, give a warm welcome to everybody's favorite tank in Gintimus. We will be right back with Thomas after this commercial break. As a steam engine crashed his way into your house and ruined your breakfast, do you not want to cook anymore and would like a quick, delicious and easy to make meal in the morning? Well look no farther than Toby's Toast Crunch, the crunchy, delicious breakfast cereal that your whole family will love, now included with the limited time only fries inside. With these sweet cinnamon covered rectangles of wheat and rice, we guarantee 100% satisfaction in each and every box. Get back on the rails and ring your bell, because this cereal will keep you going, all while giving you all of the needed nutrients in your everyday life. So make sure to purchase Toby's Toast Crunch today at 1555-777-7767. Welcome to the Tobyverse. So Thomas, welcome to the show. How are you doing and what is it like to be an actor? I am doing very well, Keith. I love acting. It can be a lot of fun, but it has its tough times. It can be very challenging, playing to completely different versions of myself. How hard is it for you to get your soul door fallout face on? Well, my mutated eye is a clay prosthetic. Decorated with fake blood, the eye on my forehead has a similar process. It's again a clay prosthetic. Decorated with fake blood, and the blue pole inside is controlled by a solo motor. The whole face can take many hours to complete. Interesting, your soda dark realm face must have been just as difficult. It was just as difficult. My face artist also used clay to creep my scars. My missing eye from the breakdown crane scene was also a clay prosthetic that my team put over my eye. Also, the clay was never comfortable on my face. Speaking of breakdown cranes, you were in two very different, deadly breakdown crane scenes. Can you tell us about your experiences with both? Fun fact, Keith. I was the one who pushed Toby's body double into the crane. It took a lot of trace to get it right, but in the end it looked incredible. The team had put a green top over me. Then they digitally removed me from that scene. We put a custom wood shell over a troublesome truck and made it look almost identical to the real Toby. We had a lot of fun killing the fake Toby. Over and over again, there was a point 
Toby got a little worried and thought we were going to kill him. We had to calm him down and reassure him that we weren't. That crew of the Dark Realm scene was much harder. I had to run at the crane. I was on the track beside it. So when I ran at it, I had to slum on my brakes right beside the crane. This was challenging to do as we had to get the timing right. My team digitally altered the video to make my eye look like it was in the crane. Remember our chase scene? And how crazy that was? I remember that you shot out my window. Where was your aim, Keith? Your job was to shoot the driver. The gun missed fire. It wasn't my fault. Yeah, you're always your excuses, Keith. I had to get a new window because of you. Sorry about your window, Thomas. So you started filming episode 13. How's that going? It's going great, as you know Daisy and Mavis are in it. And of course, this story is still told from Charlie's perspective. I only came all in this episode. I don't have too many scenes, so I don't know much about what's going on in this episode. Are you going to be in more episodes of Soda Dark Realm? What I do know is, I won't be in episode 4, but I think the production team plans to have me back for future episodes, but I just don't know when. Thanks for being on the show and we will be seeing you again soon. Thanks for having me, Keith. Stay tuned, girls. We will be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back, we have two awesome series Soda followed, and Soda Dark Realm, but I would like to talk a little bit more about Soda Fallout. The producers want me to remind everyone that these episodes take time, and to bear with us through the dreaded wait. Episode 12 was a very hard episode to complete. We just need to respect all the hard work our stars put into these episodes. Now it's time for our question, and answer. this will be where answer your most common questions. Here is some questions some of you have asked. Famous 12 Studies has asked, Have all the Indians ever felt weird or sad or any emotions about their roles in Soldor Fallout? And Soldor Dark Realm? Yes, all Indians have different feelings regarding Soldor Fallout. And Soldor Dark Realm some enjoyed playing these different characters. Some have mixed feelings and some hate their roles, but we get more into this in different episodes of the show. Maddox Baskar has asked, how did James get to the Dark Realm? This question will be answered in a later episode of Soda Dark Realm, and we will get into more of James' backstory of how he got there. Will Diesel Tim be in Soda Dark Realm? Yes, he will be introduced in Soda Dark Realm, but it will be in a later episode and it will have to be done right. Engine 9824 has asked, if you could change anything about Soda or Dark Realm, what would it be? My producers told me that they wouldn't change anything about Soldo or Dark Realm. Spacey Sandwich has asked what would Shit 17 look like in Model series? And are you going to do Project G1? The Shit 17 will look like the Model series but with lots of special effects he's passing in the Beast production might to Project G1. It depends on how well Shit 17 does. Why did Toby have to die in Soda Dark Realm? The Empire called Toby to make Point to the Rebels, I even suggested the idea of possibly bringing Toby back in later episodes. All the producer said was how do you survive burning to death? This is it for the first episode, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for having me, see you next time. <laughs>